Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly forecast for February 24th through March 1st. We're going to see what's happening in the weekend with this lovely deck here. And we're going to pull a crystal card for you guys. See what crystal might be good for you guys to use this week. We're coming into some new moon energy. There's a new moon happening. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. Come back here, cards. There's a new moon happening on the 23rd, a new moon in Pisces. It's getting a lot of people focused on love and finances. And it's setting us up for the next six months. We're all also coming out of the Mercury retrograde uh, pretty soon. We still have Mercury retrograde happening this week, but we're, we'll be out of it next week. So we're going to see what's coming up, what recommendations are coming up, what crystal may be a good crystal for you guys in these uh, transitional energies. But let's see what's happening for Gemini. Monday, Tuesday for Gemini, please. Wednesday, Thursday for Gemini, please. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Gemini, please. Alrighty, my darlings. So Monday, Tuesday, we have Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords makes me super duper happy. And I'll tell you why. Um, the Aces in general, for me, when they come up in a reading, to me, they're very much about busting out of blockages and then of course depending on which ace it is it tells us which area you're clearing a blockage from and gemini this one's a doozy for you in a good way okay because gemini you guys are the realm of thought you guys are the realm of air and ace of swords is that it's about thought and about air so as some of you maybe are beginning to feel like, oh, you know what, like I want to have, you know, more joy in my love life or I want my relationships to be better or I want my finances to be better. It's almost as if this light bulb is going off in your head Monday, Tuesday, and you're beginning to see all of the thoughts, all of the thinking that's been holding you back from uh, being able to succeed, the negative self-talk, the things you've been saying to yourself or putting yourself down. Uh, and for some of you, you're having this massive idea where you're like, oh my God, why didn't I not think of this before? Like, it's so simple. Why didn't I think of this before? So you're finding a new approach or a new way to go about things that you weren't seeing before. Like you were completely and totally blinded to it. And it's like you're having this revelation where you're like, of course, it's so simple. Sometimes when I see Ace of Swords come up, especially when it's somebody I've been reading for for like a really long time um, and uh, I'll see like it, it coming up for them more consistently in their readings. Uh, it's basically saying you're coming into a time where your thought process is changing and you're beginning to learn to work smarter, not harder. So there might be a goal that you've been working on or some changes you've been trying to make in your life that you've really been complicating it or overthinking it. And you're beginning to find easier ways of doing things where it's not going to take you so much time, so much energy, so much money. You're finding a more efficient way of doing things. Okay, so this may even be your theme over the next six months. And you may be having a lot of these little moments in your life, Gemini, between now and uh, September 2nd, when new moon is in Pisces again, where you're going to feel very victorious, like, wow, I'm making progress. I'm like, I'm covering good ground. I'm, I, I'm, I'm making things happen. So uh, it's, it's a very unblocked kind of energy, you know, when I see this, uh, this Ace of Swords coming up. So let's check out your Wednesday, Thursday. So for Wednesday, Thursday, you guys have 10 of wands, which is fire, okay, fire energy. So maybe feeling some motivation, those of you that maybe uh, you've been having a hard time finding motivation or a hard time getting moving, Wednesday, Thursday is going to come in in two ways for different ones of you. Keep in mind, this is a general reading and you guys are not going to feel the energy in the same exact ways. And it, everybody's kind of in a different place in their journey. Even though you guys are a Gemini or you guys are Geminis, you're not all born the same exact day, same exact time. You all haven't had the same exact circumstances. So even though you have similarities and you can relate to one another with what you're going through, it's not the same exact experience for every single Gemini on this planet. So for some of you, the way you're feeling the energy, you're feeling the energy in the way where something is happening Wednesday, Thursday, where you're fed up, you're tired, you're feeling like you're being pulled in a lot of different directions, you feel like you're busting your butt, 
And you're like, there's got to be a better way. And that ace of swords moment is coming in where you're beginning to realize that, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to find a better way to do this. You know, I'm going to find a, a better way that I'm not like, you know, spinning my wheels upside down and getting nowhere. Some of you have had a lot of obligations or responsibilities put on your back that you're like, nope, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. This is too much of a distraction. This is too much of a burden to carry. I've got to focus on me. I got to focus on what I need to do. And so you're maybe making yourself less available for certain people in your life who are really pulling on you or pressuring you. Uh, for other ones of you where you're having this really, you know, fed up moment and you just feel very frustrated. Other ones of you, you have been carrying a burden for a very long time. You've been working on projects for a very long time and you're finally coming uh, to the finish line where you're going to be able to put it down and pick up the next thing. So you're feeling done. You're feeling done with something. There's a life lesson, even though... Ten of Wands is not a major arcana card. There's a life lesson that can come in with Ten of Wands as well, which is learning to delegate or learning to say no, learning to save your energy, learning to, uh, you know, entrust others to handle something for you. So for some of you, it's just, it's, it's this thing of where, you know, you might feel like, wow, you've been really putting all the pressure on me, but what about you? What are you bringing to the table, bud? You know, for some of you, there's an eye opening moment like that as well. Uh, I hate to say it, but some of you may be in a situation where you have someone in your life who's been gaslighting you, like just flat out gaslighting you it could be a work situation a family situation a romantic situation where this person is making you feel under par or like not enough and you've just been scammering trying to you know hit all the expectations and jump through all the hoops and you're having like your eyes are open you're like wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm doing all this to make everything convenient for you. But how are you stepping up? What are you doing? So I think for some of you, you're realizing there's just way too much that's being put on you or way too much that you're being made to feel like you have to be responsible for. Okay, you're having that eye opening moment where you can begin making the changes and, you know, beginning to, to shift it and turn around and to say, nope, I'm going to do things in a different way because this way ain't working for me anymore. Your Friday, Saturday and Sunday is C, five of wands. So there's going to be some kind of a, I'm going to use the word confrontation, but I don't want, I don't want it to freak you out. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're like going to go into battle with someone or that you're going to be fighting with somebody. Um, but something is being confronted for some of you, you're having that eye opening moment and you're going to confront this person and say, look, you know, here's all the things I've been doing and they've been super convenient for you, but they haven't been so much convenient for me. And so there might be some kind of like where you're addressing something with someone. Keep in mind, this is five of wands. So if that does happen, expect and be prepared that they're going to push back, right? They're not necessarily going to be yielding. And so um, you may have a situation here where uh, you're beginning to realize or you're beginning to see who does not have your back or who's not being supportive. And that might sting and that might not be so much fun, but keep in mind and know and understand that when those things are revealed, it's to help us, you know, not put our time or loyalty in the wrong place. If you are a Gemini, who this Ten of Wands, this Ace of Swords uh, has to do with uh, business or like doing something for yourself or, you know, uh, you know, fixing some kind of situation here um, in a career sense or financial sense, because the Pisces New Moon will get a lot of people thinking about finances. Uh, I think you're really taking advantage of the Mercury retrograde energy because the Mercury retrograde energy is a great time to rework, to replan. Like you're, you're seeing where things failed in the past and how things need to be done differently. So you're coming up with a new plan. Okay. And I feel for those of you where you're coming up with a new plan of how you're going to tackle some kind of business launch or some kind of work situation or uh, like revising your resume or just doing something to get ahead in your financial status and in the way that you're making money. Five of Wands can be very, very positive because I've also seen it come up for people where what Spirit is saying is, yeah, there's a lot of competition, but you are in the running. 
you are a force to be uh, reckoned with. Like you are, you are in this, you are in this that, yeah, there might be other people that are going after the same thing as you, or maybe you're going into a business where it's a very saturated uh, market, you know, but you're still, you're holding your own and people are beginning to know of you. You are beginning to be known as a contender, right? And so it's less of competing you're, you're less of a, a of a competition and more of like a contender where you're like, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm a pretty good choice here. Like I'm standing out and yeah, I, I, I'm in this, I'm in the game. So even though it can indicate that there's others around you or others that are competing for attention or clients or customers or positions or promotions, whatever it may be, you are in the running. Okay, so you need to give yourself credit for that and to realize that you are being taken very seriously. So something may be happening towards the end of the week, Gemini, where you're beginning to see, ah, yeah, people are beginning to see that they need to take me seriously. Okay, whether it's in personal situations or whether it's in uh, business or, you know, whatever it may be. So we're going to see what Crystal is being recommended for you guys. And again, I really recommend watching your moon sign and rising sign videos as well. Some weeks those are going to resonate with you more than others. Uh, they might bring you a little extra information that can be very helpful. But we're going to go ahead and see what is happening, my dears. And if you want love readings and if you want, uh, um, you know, uh, channeled angel messages, check those out. Those are linked in the description as well. So you have here, it says, remember the divine spark within aspire towards enlightenment, increase mental clarity and intelligence, improve telepathic communication skills. I had to giggle there because we talked about mental clarity with that ace of swords. And we talked about fire with that 10 of wands, like getting that spark, getting that fire, being fed up, wanting change. So wow, what a confirmation. And you have seraphonite, seraphonite coming up here for you. And the affirmation coming in with it is my mind and spirit are connected with each other and the divine. I really love seraphonite. Um, I have found it to be for me, like everybody's gonna have a different experience with crystals. For me, it's very intense. Like I, I had, I used to have a seraphonite ring uh, and I ended up uh, gifting it to someone who I felt like, uh, you know, maybe needed it, but it was very intense for me. I could not wear it for very long. Um, I could not sleep with it on. Uh, it was a very, very intense energy. And so uh, Seraphonite here is really very much about that mental realm, very much about receiving messages from your angels and guides, having that communication, having the mental channels cleared and opened up. Uh, it's a beautiful stone. Okay, uh, and you can find it in most metaphysical shops. If there's a metaphysical shop near you, you can find it online. And guys, if you can't like invest in crystals right now, if you're not in a situation where you can buy crystals, please don't let this discourage you. You can still do affirmations. You can still do journaling. You can still do, you know, uh, chakra meditations and things like this. If you want to do a chakra meditation, you can do a like a crown chakra meditation or chakra crown chakra clearing, you know, uh, so I don't want you to feel like you can't work on manifesting if you can't find this crystal or if you don't have money uh, to, to buy crystals, you know, uh, don't feel like it's going to hold you back or that you can't manifest. But if you do want to work with crystals, if it's something that is within your budget to be able to do, this is a really great stone to work with. I just give you guys a little bit of caution. I know for me, it was really intense. And I have air in my chart. I, I'm, a, I'm a water sign. I'm a Scorpio, but I do have air in my rising. Um, so I'm not like, you know, completely and totally without the element of air, but it was just, it was very intense for me. Uh, and maybe, maybe some of you are like, oh, this is great. Like I want to be around it all the time. You know, people are going to have different reactions, but it is a very powerful crystal. And I think that's one of the reasons why you don't see it as commonly as like walking into a place and seeing rose quartz or clear quartz. You don't really see seraphonite as, uh, as often, but it is available and you should be able to find it. Okay, don't forget to watch the uh, moon, sun, rising sun. Like I said, if you would like a private reading, go ahead and click on the Cali link and schedule a reading with me there. Uh, I did open up a few more spots because people have been emailing saying the calendar's book. I can't get on. I can't get on. And so I opened up a few more dates, but dates are going to be limited in March. So keep that in mind. 
Um, and uh, if you want to grab a reading now, now might be a good time. I don't know, uh, you know, how long the ones I opened up will be available. But I thank you guys so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm going to be posting a new moon affirmation, little new moon ritual thing on Instagram and Facebook, as well as every single day, the card of the day and the pick a card game. Those are going to keep on popping up on there as well so follow along on there as if you haven't already thank you so much guys have an amazing week take care